What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here and welcome back to another PS4 video. So in this video I'm basically doing a little overview of PS4 AIO, the new update which I'll be releasing when this video goes up. So basically this is a tool I made for 176 consoles, so consoles on firmware 1.76. It's basically all the little tools I've made for the PS4 kind of combined into one. So you've got like package merging, a little FTP browser, UI editor, payload injecting, peak poke memory, um, and then some mod tools for COD, so Advanced Warfare Ghosts. And since 4.05, uh, we can now access newer CODs like Black Ops 3. So I've added a Black Ops 3 tool in here with help from XEX Solutions. So yeah, basically, the whole point of this uh, version is to support 4.05, of course. So the tool now fully supports uh, 4.05. Pretty much the only thing that won't work on 4.05 right now is the... Um, the 1.76 GTA 5 menus like the Azura menu and obviously the Far Cry menu as well will not work on uh, 4.05, that's kind of like the only thing. Apart from that, uh, the FTP browser should work, the UI editor, package merging's the same, that hasn't changed. Um, so yeah, so if you select 176, you'll see in the payloads list you'll have all the 1.76 payloads, whereas if you select 4.05 on a 4.05 console, it'll change to all your 4.05 payloads, so there's not very many right now. Um, but, but what a lot of people forget is that in the payloads folder, um, you can just add new payloads in here for 4.05 and then they'll show up in the drop-down list. So you can add more payloads or you can select custom and just drag your own payload straight in here to inject. So essentially what you've got here with um, 4.05, so you've got the enable web browser patch, you've got the FTP, um, dot bin and you've got your fully enabled debug settings now you've also got game dumper which has been updated for 4.05 so that allows you to uh, dump your dump and decrypt your executable files for your games which are needed for uh, you know if you're trying to um, make a backup game that uh, other people can run on their consoles then you need to dump and decrypt the game files and all you have to do is enter the ID of the game in here and then go on the game, inject the payload, and it'll start dumping it to a USB stick. As long as you plug it into the right USB port, so the USB port on the right, that's the one you need to be plugged into, USB 0, and it'll dump the files files to the USB. You can also select patch 0, which will decrypt the update files as well. If you have a game update installed and you want to um, decrypt those files, you can select patch 0. So you can do that to dump and decrypt your games. Okay, so for FTP, uh, the FTP payload requires uh, two IP addresses uh, to be changed inside the actual file itself. So if you have this box checked for change IP payload, it will swap out those IP addresses for you uh, with the one that you have entered down here, which should be the IP address of your PS4. And then you can just go ahead and inject that payload. And when it says done, that means uh, it has been injected and the FTP is loaded. And then you'll be able to basically connect on the FTP browser and the UI editor once you've injected uh, your FTP payload. So yeah, so as you can see, I connected there and I have access to my drive, MNT folder where my USB is, my disk, my disk folder, all that stuff. So it's a very basic FTP browser, but you can drag and drop some files, you can extract files, you can right click and extract and delete files from uh, your drive through FTP. Then of course you've got the UI editor as well. And remember, all the 1.76 stuff will still work. So it'll still work on 1.76 if you just have 1.76 selected. Um, right now we have 4.05 selected. And there you go, UI editor works so you can swap out your images uh, with you know all different images. It'll automatically resize them for you. And then you just click apply changes when you're done. You can back up your images as well before you change them. So that is the UI editor. That's pretty much what all you have on this page. Package merging hasn't really changed. So if you don't know what package merging does, it basically allows you to merge uh, package files into one file. So you can see we've got uh, two files here. This is an advanced warfare update, part zero and part one. And you can just drag them in here and then just select an output path like this folder here. And then you can start and it will start merging those files into one part. So there you go, you can see one part being created right here and yeah so that's basically the package merging 
doesn't rely on any specific firmware, it's just for package files in general, so you can merge them. So there you go, merging the second file now. So as you can see here, the first one was four gigabytes, the second one was two gigabytes, so our output file will be around about six and a half gigs probably. There you go, 6.5 gigabytes, and that's it merged completely. So that's the package merger, so that's pretty much everything you have on here. Okay, so switching over to the peek poke tool here. So this basically allows you to peek and poke memory. So all you have to do is inject the RTE payload, which is down here in the bottom right, or you can actually just inject it from here, either way. So it'll say loaded, and that means the RTE payload is loaded. Then all you have to do on your PS4 is just go ahead and start a game. So we're on the game here, so essentially all you have to do if you want to peek poke memory is once you get on the game, you just connect. Now obviously, you need to put in the process name of whichever process you're wanting to attach to. Uh, eboot.bin is in there by default because that's what the majority of, ga of games are. Not Normally they use eboot.bin, that's their main executable. But some games are different, so you, you need to find out what the the executable file is for your for your game but for most of them it's eboot.bin so you just connect and then you can peak memory there we go so that's the start of the the elf file right there start of the executable and then you can peak quite large amounts of memory quite fast as you can see just like that and then if we were looking for a certain sequence of bytes like say we wanted to find this which is a bit a bit random. You can right click and copy it. So if I was searching for that and I wanted to know where it was, I could literally just search for all of these bytes. And boom, it finds them down there. It may even be more occurrences. Nope, no more occurrences. But you can basically go ahead and do search. You can also search for strings as well. So anything in here. So like, um, I don't know, if I search for elf, for example, and set that as string, there you go, it finds it. So you can search for strings, you can search for a sequence of bytes. Uh, whenever you click anywhere in here, it gives you the selected address that you're currently on, you're currently clicked on, plus the amount of bytes you are away from the start address as well. So like your additive right there. And then you can of course dump the entire window, everything that you've peaked to a file, to a .bin file, all that kind of stuff. Uh, even auto update, which will constantly refresh it every few seconds. So you can do that as well. So quite a lot of stuff you can do there uh, with the peak poke tool. And then in addition to that, obviously we have the mod tools, which uses the same um, payload. So if I just go ahead and start up a real quick game here on Black Ops 3. Now, I'm not going to be able to show you this very well uh, on the console, but I'll just enable a few things and then show you it really quick. Because this is more of just a quick overview. I've already done a video showing all of the mods in the Black Ops 3 tool. This is more just to show how you connect and get it working. So the same payload, the RTE payload, will work for both the peak poke tool and the mod tools, including Advanced Warfare and Ghosts. And it's the same for 176 as well. Same RTE payload for... Um, for the games plus the peek and poke tool. All right, here we go. So I'm in a game here, and all I do is I'm already connected, so I can just fetch clients. If I wasn't already connected, I would just click the connect button down here, and it would connect me. And then that's it. So you fetch your clients. All your players show up in here. I just loaded up a game on my own, so there's nobody else in here. But then you just click the client you want, and then you enable any of these mods on that client. So you can put God Mode on, I'll put Thermal on, I'll put uh, Unlimited Ammo on, right there, and Hologram, and yeah, that'll probably do. And let's switch weapon, actually. Let's switch weapon to, I don't know, an ICR or something. And then I'll move this over here so you can see it. As you can see, Unlimited Ammo, we're on Thermal Vision, we've got our Hologram, we've got our ICR all that working and then also for zombie mode if you're going to play zombies all you have to do is switch this little toggle down here where it says NPZM switch it to ZM for when you're playing a zombie match and that will disable all of the things that don't work uh, in zombies so you know like hologram UAV thermal that stuff doesn't work in zombies so it will disable all of that 
and it'll enable the stuff that does work in zombies like points. All right, so that's basically it, apart from credits, obviously credits to the people who made the various payloads and stuff. Um, so I've updated this with the people who made uh, the 4.05 payloads as well as the 1.76 payloads. Um, and of course, Sabotage for making the RTE payload um, for both 1.76 and 4.05. So, uh, yeah, because I got rid of, we used to use PS4Me and another API, which wasn't very good. So now we're using Sabotage's API, which is a lot more stable uh, than both PS4Me and um, the one by Black Panther, which I think was also called PS4 API. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like. And remember that this is released uh, just now, so I'll put a link in the description. Please make sure that you install this newer version rather than updating the old version because the old version um, the updater in the old version is unlikely to fully update this properly so because it's quite a big update there's quite a few things that have changed so um, you're going to need to actually reinstall the whole program um, so uninstall the old one download uh, the new version from the link in the description and install that and then you'll be able to use the tool uh, and obviously if you've never installed it before just download it and install it so Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe, and I will hopefully see you guys in the next one.